What's up guys? Welcome back for another video here at Triple R Farms. My name is Daniel and it is, what is today? It is Wednesday, November the 2nd and uh, kind of going to change up a little bit today. Uh, if you watched the last video, we uh, tried to do some picking yesterday and it just wasn't working. We were leaving too much on the stalk. Cotton had not fluffed back up. We need some sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. It looks like we're gonna get it today. So what I think is gonna happen today is we're gonna swap up. Uh, we're gonna leave the cotton picker alone, let that cotton sit and uh, try to fluff out all day. I'm gonna go down there with uh, dad if we can get started. And uh, I'm gonna help him cut some beans today. I got Philip. he's gonna come and uh, pick cotton tomorrow. And uh, if he does that, then I'll be able to help dad for two days cutting beans down there, black with beans. So um, that is the plan right now. But before we get this video started, I got something to show y'all. We got something new on our website. So this is what we got. So here's what we added to the website. We got some new camo hats in. Got the camo with the orange. Um, if you want one of these, they're going really fast. I suggest you get on there, go to our website, um, www triple r farms al.com should be up here somewhere but um anyway these hats are really cool be great for hunting season uh great christmas gift uh look really good uh, we're really proud of them got the uh mossy oak pattern but yeah uh really cool hat like i said they're going fast so if any of y'all want one of these for hunting season uh, you better go get them because they're going quick. <laughs> All right, guys, what we're doing this morning while we're waiting on this heavy, heavy dew to dry before we go down there and combine beans. Uh, you know, we've been working on the other better, getting it ready. So yes, we're gonna uh, take this back to the shop. We're gonna unhook from the hipper tumbler. That's right. One of the main reasons we are uh, gonna unhook from this baby right here and try the other one. Number one is we've got a ton of grass. Uh, we had a lot of grass out here that was in our cornfields if you watch those videos. Anyway, that grass is still out here and uh this thing is doing nothing but choking up like crazy with this grass Go with the drop. 
some heavy iron I do not miss doing that brought back some bad memories uh, we got it hooked up obviously dad wants to go ahead and try it so um, the field right behind y'all it needs bedding anyway so um, has not been disc or anything uh, this is strictly coming right behind the combine and uh, we're gonna see what it does <laughs> I told y'all this thing does a really good job but uh, we are on a really sandy part of the field and um, see those clods on top that's just what you're gonna have to deal with we're gonna have to run something behind it J&M rolling basket or something to uh, top off these beds but yeah this thing does fantastic but we're not in grass so. Well, that looks terrible. <laughs> that looks terrible. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, this third one needs let down. The wheel needs cranking up. It's not going very good. Everybody, impact reach and get in there. You know? been a while there goes that full throttle immediately <laughs> it's just the way he rolls good to me if anything broke let me know It's just really tough conditions right now. Uh, you can see that a lot of these beans have the leaves still on them. So we're having to deal with extra debris going through the combine. And the ground is still damp from the last rain we've had. Uh, we had a heavy fog this morning. Sun has been out for about an hour. But uh, anyway, it's it's bogging down the engine pretty good it's, it's having a tough time chewing these things up but we're going three miles an hour it's going to get better and better as the day goes along as you can see we have no clouds so full sunshine so ought to be a good day of uh good day of combining as the day goes on these beans in this part of the field are a variety that i've never planted before armor 62 d60 and uh what i remember about these beans is they had huge leaves on them they, they look like a tobacco plant almost big leaves but uh they look good all year they're cutting cutting anywhere from 55 to 60. so yeah turned out good moisture's running 13 and a half around there 13 and a half 13.6 13.7 so I'm loving it just a lot of dust
All right, guys, we have made it out here to Blackwell's Bend to the combines. Uh, we got a lot of things to do to them before we get started this morning. Uh, we got to go check for uh, broke guards, any broke blades. We got to grease. We got to fill up with diesel. Mark's going to be blowing out my uh, air filters. Um, I got the backpack blower. I'm going to blow the whole machine off. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. And, um, Got a little bit of wind, plenty of sunshine, no clouds, but we still had that really heavy dew. So um, still gonna be a little bit on the damp side. Probably about 11, 11.30 is uh, when we'll get started. So yeah, let's get on uh, getting this baby ready. Yeah, I'm not uh, having too good a luck with the uh, iPads lately. The uh, iPad that we ordered, uh, still not working. Uh, no cell service on it, so I've been borrowing Thomas's every day so we can record yield. And um, anyway, look what happened to it last night. When I was getting it out of the truck, I had it right under my arm right here, and I went to grab like something else, slipped right out of my, under my arm, slipped right out, and landed right on the concrete. And normally I have a cover on it and it will not fit in my iPad holder in the combine with the cover on. So I had the cover off. Yeah, down goes number two, but it still works. I just got to buy Thomas. <laughs> I got to buy him a new one. That's what uh, he told me last night when I showed it to him. But uh, yeah, not having good luck. All right, so let's go check on dad. He is over there at his combine. Uh, Y'all have no idea what's been going on, but he actually broke down yesterday. Uh, he had to drive to Mississippi this morning to uh, pick up some parts, and uh, I'll let him tell you what he did. You know you got a light in here. Where? How do you cut it on? I've tried. It on? Nope. You're kidding me. Well, the other ones work. Not doing anything. Hmm. What happened? Uh, well, it started vibrating back here a good bit. And I knew something was wrong and I got to looking and a lot of the knives were missing. Chopper. Chopper knives. And so I'm replacing them. These bolts are extremely tight. And uh, it's a struggle to get them off. But I'm going back together. Had to drive to Mississippi and get, get parts. Show them a blade. Tough, tough on your knees here <laughs> in this position. There's a knife. So all the stuff you see coming out of the back of these combines, this is what is chopping up everything that's coming out the back. 
Uh, it's got a big old chopper spinning around and it's just chomping and grinding everything up. Uh, and then it's sending it out in the back of the combine. But yeah, he was missing a lot of these. It caused that whole drone to be off balance and doing a lot of shaking. I'll be going in about an hour. All right. Well, I'm gonna get started. Also, I guess you probably figured it out. Philip, he did come today. He was able to, um, he's gonna be able to run the uh, cotton picker today. So that is why I'm down here at Black Levin. Thank goodness, uh, gonna run the combine and we'll have both of them going and hopefully we can knock out a lot of acres today. So uh, anyway, he's down there at the gravel pit picking some cotton. We let it sit for a day, you know, to let it fluff out. Um, hopefully, uh, it's picking a lot better today, but I'll call him a little bit later and uh, check on him see how he's doing. But yeah, let's get started. Hold up, before we do that, we got one more thing to do before we get started. And uh, yeah, got some big football games coming up this weekend. So we'll stay with the football theme. We'll do some field goals. Y'all let me know if you want me to change the football theme. All right, since we're out in the field, truck will be the field goal. And uh, here's what we got. We got your PAT. This is your point after attempt right here. Then we got 20 yard field goal. Then we got a 30 yard field goal. Then we got a 40. And the grand finale is the 50 yard field goal to uh, win the game. That is uh, it's a long ways. Let's see how we do. Are you kidding me? Oh, for five. Yeah, it's a little dusty. Visibility, not too good going this direction. Well guys, we are out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you made it to the end, thank you. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to subscribe, click Triple R Farms logo right here. And uh, yeah, we're done with this video. Thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one. We're out.